Hi folks and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 30 of the Beginner's Guide series and so in the last episode we headed off to the sinkhole and we fought the undead dragon and uh, as part of that we learned the dragon and dragon bone armor which we've got sitting here and Luba the Luscious, the performer and dancer here, she was able to help cleanse us of corruption on our on our way in the front door to get to the dragon. So excellent job done by her there. But in this episode we're going to head back to the frozen north and we're going to go to the Temple of Frost. And we'll learn a few things up there. But a bit like the bridge that takes us to the Black Keep, the Temple of Frost is one of the coldest places in the game. So luckily with our redeemed Silent Legion armor, each piece gives us two bars of frost protection. Mixed with our attribute points, uh, the vitality attribute point that gives us temperature effects reduced. And if we head into our fridge, we'll get some spicy food to help warm us up. And also a uh, so spicy food that away and we'll take some berry pulp so we can drink and get refreshed without cooling us down any further so those two will help us out up in the cold uh, we're going to take Timos with us today because Timos is currently level 18 so hopefully this might get us the next two levels um, I've given him the the heavy dragon armor which has given him extra vitality which is why his health is slowly slowly building up as he heals up and I've given him tell the sorrow that we crafted from the black keep uh, I've put a it had pretty decent armor pen on it already so I've put a, a damage kit on it to put his damage up to 70 so that should keep him going so if you how much food have you got he's got enough should have enough food all right follow me uh, I've got my stuff it's all repaired Get on the horse. So the let me go the map up. The location we're heading for is up here. So way up past Mounds of the Dead and then kind of through here up into this area here. Past this lake. And there is a path. So this path here kind of leads us straight there. So I'll head up to the Mounds of the Dead. That's kind of where the well the Barrow King is off off to the, the west. But we'll be up this path and then it starts getting a bit interesting as you go around around there. So I'll bring you back once I'm up at that location. Okay, see you soon. Okay, welcome back. So we've come right round the edge of the Mounds of the Dead. So we're up up here. So we've we've come round this way and you can see the path leading ahead there which is up there. So if we start heading up this path. Oh, there's a ghost. I wonder where he leads us to. The wonderful ghost noises. All right, so we follow up here. We should start encountering some nasty creatures. Here we go. There's one for a start. There. Horse. Which one? Horse. Yeah, off that horse. Two thousand health. There, in the background, you can just see a mammoth. Obama fighting something. Obama's fighting a bear, is it? No, it's just hanging about with a bear. Okay, let's take it on. Of course, the 
Sophia's getting involved as well. Alright. Let's get some bleeds on it. What have they got? 4,000 health, but obviously a lot of armor. So that stomp. Didn't watch the stomp. Nine thousand seven hundred and seventy eight health at the moment. Oh, I'm stuck. Where am I stuck? Stuck on the in the bear. Oh no, there's a wolf coming as well. More wolves. is still like at maximum health although he's been fighting things pretty much on his own he's healing good enough right so let me get my cleaver out because what you've got to have off of a mammoth is a mammoth head uh, don't need that don't need that I'll keep that right put the mammoth head on the horse right so that gives you an idea of the sort of creatures that are up in these parts. Yeah, so I need to head in this direction. So there's more wolves, elks. Just keep going, there's an elk king. And then we're coming up to the lake. More wolves on the left. Still following down, but the Elk Kings run away. Alright, so we're heading into the actual north now. So got some Elks there, more Mammoth. Mammoth fighting wolves. And then there's another Elk King here. Let's take this one on. They make nice trophies too. So that help. So that help actually a horse. Where is it? Come here. Elk. Right, so cleaver. Elk King head. Thank you. 
you. Oh. Is that some sort of corrupted, undead kind of thing? I've never actually seen one of these before. You're a wolf or a saber tooth? Corrupted wolf. You do get you get one skull boss rules, but they're just pure white normal rules. This one looks it's got the corrupted eyes. Let's see if we can get a head off of it. Nope. Hmm, interesting. Not sure what that was. If you do know, drop it in the comments, let me know. I'd be most grateful. Uh, right, so I'm I'm healing up. Slowly, another mammoth fighting more stuff over there. But we get onto this lake. I lit lake. The first time I was ever up here, I was really cagey about running across here in case this ice cracked and I broke, went through. Uh, right, so it's pretty much straight ahead up that hill. Hear ghost noises, but I don't see any ghosts. So we're getting into oh, there's more more wolves. Yeah, so you're a normal boss wolf. Dire wolf, is that what they're called? Boss ones. There we go. Alright, let's keep going up this path. There's a, there's a saber tooth. place for you to be. Alright, let's keep going. There's a wee camp there of frost giants. I actually need to go this way. To the right of this camp. Here. I go the right way. No, I need to go that way. Past this other mammoth. And more saber tooth. This is what I'm looking for. Frozen slopes. Alright, I'm going to leave the horse here. Missed. Here should be safe enough. Right, if we go through these rocks, our ice blocks first of all, we have the obelisk here that we can attune to. There we go. 
and this is the Temple of Frost. So we need to swap out our meat for spice meat and we'll put water. Oh, that should be okay. What's our water? We could do with a drink. So let's uh, use that, get our water up. Okay. Right, so there's a couple of things to learn outside. One of which is like a totem pole. Here it is. Let me just show you where we are exactly. So in this little bit here. And if we go to the totem pole, interact, we learn totems. Lots and lots and lots of black ice all around here and all through the inside of the... Alright, so there's a glowy rock here. And we click on that, we can learn kneel by crom, and again pray sitting and standing. But here's the big guy. So they're huge, but they're really slow. And they don't have massive amount of health either. down. Oh, that's level four, 19. Yep, so one more level to go. So there should be another one on the outside here somewhere. There he is. Cold here. What has he got? They often have. I'll take the hardened steel arrows. I never check the other one. They often have uh, spicy food on them. So if you're getting a bit short of spicy food, it's always worth checking them. And of course, the first two that I check don't have any spicy food in them. Right. In we go down the stairs. Send in Beastmaster Timos to go and pull them. We only pulled one. Oh, that one's coming now. Die. Just collapse like ragdolls. Uh, ice. There we go, some spiced haunch. Elephant hide. Uh, I think there is chests at the back here. Yep. Uh, nothing very exciting in them, like, like most of these chests. Loads and loads more black ice. So we might fill up on black ice on our way out once we've finished. Let's keep going. So we're showing this cold at the moment. But if we didn't have the armor and the vitality perk, we would be very cold. And if they hit you, I think they give you the frostbite debuff. So it's a really good idea to not let them hit you. Saying absent, so that would help if we didn't have the berry pulp. I think the alcohol possibly warms you up, but also has negative effects too. Right, so we're heading up the way. One guy here. Go. 
there is. Right, then we've got three ways to go here. Garden steel pick, steel re oh, I'll take the steel reinforcements. They're always handy. So, straight ahead, left and right. So, we'll go right first. In you go, T Mass. I might need to fight them though. Oh, there's three in here. The disjunction. Just oh. stamina. must have got them. So I think all there is in this room is chests. Uh, what have we got? We'll take that out. Steel, uh, bleep, the star metal. Chest here. Nothing of interest at all. Uh, that. There we go. Nope. Yeah, nothing much here at all. Nice little brazier thing on the go. Okay, so that's one room done. Up we go. It needs another... I need another drink. Nice atmospheric music in here as well. So let's go straight ahead and we'll go to the left entrance. Like that. Okay, round the corner. And this is the forge. Again, black ice everywhere. So how many guys have we got in here? I think this is actually a mini boss. So kind of have to be careful because you can get knocked off. Let's pull them with T Moss. Can we get the two? Yeah, we've got the two without the the mini boss. Oh, Timos is up to twelve thousand health now. Did he get a level up? Set him level twenty. Oh, perks. Whoops. What are you doing? Down. 
don't. Obsidians of tar, yeah, nothing exciting. You've got a bit more spice haunch, a flagon, and nothing very exciting. Okay, right, mini boss time. This is the is it forge master. So this is the forge of Ymir. I think this guy is the forge master. I should have looked at. What's he? Uh, so he's not a skull, but he has got nine thousand health. Temperature things, so he's got the cold snap because he's getting hit by them. But that doesn't affect him. Twirly, twirly. Do you stack some weed? Oh no. Let's see if that is. 17. Whoa. food that will warm me up. damage, did it? And he's down. Uh, nothing very exciting on him. Did you get to chop him up? Thick hide. Ice. More thick hide. Okay, but this is the forge. Which we can't use yet because we haven't learned the recipe. Yeah, I think the glass flasks. So we have to go and learn the recipes. Fact is or not. <coughs> There's a, a way down there somewhere, and I think there's a dragon down there. Mm. Oh, you can climb in here. Can you see him? No, can't quite see him. How do you get down there? Oh, there he is. You see him? You can just see him just to the right of my head. There's a white dragon down there. Not 100% sure how you get get down there without jumping and hmm. Okay, that, that's not what we're here for. Right, so back up here. And now we take the middle in a uh, room. Where the big boss guy is. Again, I want to try and pull his minions without getting him. So there he is. Minions at either side. Master to stand there. 
No, we've pulled them all. Right, let's go look for him then. Oh, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Range-wise. Right, let's get you down. Together. And you go straight through the wall. This one's completely stuck in the wall. And he's disappeared too. Ah. Huh. Now they're going to reappear. Oh well. No one ever said there was a bug in Conan Exiles. Alright, what have you got? Actually, three skull pot. Get away, get away, get away. 9,600 health. there. Go and bleed. Get him. There he goes. He's down. Defeat Hergner the Frost. Journey step. So, gold... Spice tea and some non exciting stuff. Right, and I think if we click on. Nope. Must be, is there a tablet around here? There's a chest. Ah, here it is. If we click on this, we can learn frost smithing, which allows us to make black ice pickaxes. A frost. There we go. Black Ice Longsword, Broadsword, Mauls, War Axe, Black Ice Shield, Black Ice Daggers, Arrows, Spears, and Great Swords. So now, I don't think there is any other chests in here. Nothing in that one. Anything on the boss himself? Thick hide and ice, don't get a key or anything. Nope. Right, so if we run back now. We need, need another drink. Let's, let's use the tea. Because that warms us up as well as quenches our thirst. Whereas the, the berry pulp is more about it quenches your thirst but just doesn't make you cold. Right, if we go down the left entrance again, back to the forge. The bodies despawned. Oh, these ones are still here, so we're okay. There we go. So, you have to make them in here. So a black ice pick requires a hardened steel pick and some black ice. We have black ice. Oh, one of those mobs did have a hardened. Yeah, damn. 
but we've got uh, shield needs a hard. So it's all hardened steel items. And then you put it in with 20 black ice and it crafts it. So 51 damage for the black ice war axe. Um, and if we go to hardened steel. Uh, no, it's the. You make the star metal war axe. Yes, yeah, so it's 48. So it's a little bit better than star metal, but obviously you have the hassle of coming up here to to craft it. Uh, same eight nine for that one. Doesn't show you what durability is. So more. Long sword, daggers, 42 damage. Great sword, 60. Uh, where's the star metal? Two-handed epic. It does 56. So yeah, a little bit better. But also, if you're up here, you've probably got access to. Yeah, you've probably got access to legendary items anyway, but it's definitely a possibility. Oh, they're respawning! Beastmaster, do your thing. Ready? 12,332 health. So that was left, that was right. That was straight ahead. No, it doesn't have anything. Okay, let's fight our way out of here then. And on our way, I think we'll take some... We'll fill up Timos with some black ice, a couple of stacks of black ice, just while we're here. and stacks of it. Okay, well, I'm not going to sit here and let you watch me mine a whole pile of black ice. So I'll get this mined, I'll fight my way back out the front door, which is just basically straight ahead. And uh, and then I'll, I'll meet up with you again. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, I've brought you back quickly, because as I was fighting the guys on the way out the door, a uh, one of them dropped a hardened steel shield, one dropped a hardened steel pick, and one dropped a hardened steel dagger. So I'll chuck some black ice in here and let's make a pick, a shield, and the daggers. Uh, they look like they're going to take quite a wee while to craft up, so let's speed this up a bit. Okay, that was interesting. The pick took a long time to craft, but the daggers and the shield crafted in no time at all. So, there we go. Black Ice Shield, 42 damage, 14 armor pen. So that's 
almost as good as the legendary one. Uh, it just doesn't have quite as good durability, but still, still pretty decent. Black Ice Pick, a high grade tool, 425, so the Star Metal one has got much more durability. But I've, I've got a durability mod on that one. And daggers, 42 and 19 armor pren, 51 and 18, so yeah. There you go. Good, good options available to you if you want, if you want them. Right, let's get out of here. We'll have to fight our way back out again because everything's respawning. And I'll see you back outside. Right, we've made it outside. We've we've survived the Frost Temple or the Temple of Frost. And Beastmaster Timos did indeed level up to level 20. So let's just check his perks. So, oh, oh wow. So his level 20 perk is Godly Vigor, which is plus 10 on vitality so that's why he's up at 12,000 so he's now got a total boost between the armor um, and his um, thick skull and godly vigor perks of plus 20 vitality uh, so 21 strength so yeah beastmaster is once again a beast and that's him that's him fully leveled up so he got he got great perks all the way through uh, okay, accuracy wasn't particularly useful, but at least he got a plus strength, plus vitality, plus agility for arm, more armor, and then a plus ten. So that's that's a superb one, especially for one as high as as the Beastmaster. But that'll do for this episode. Thank you once again for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe. Come and join us on Discord, chat away. Um, if, if anybody knows what that weird creature, that wolf, sort of corrupted wolf thing was that we fought on the way up here, please let me know in the comments as well. But that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.